Firefighters now have the Canyon 2 fire in Orange County 45% contained. Nearly all evacuees have returned home, but officials say the fire destroyed 13 homes. CBS 2 Orange County reporter Michelle Gili is live in the city of Orange. Michelle. Pat, but in a few burned out neighborhoods, it still is not safe enough for people to go home. And this is why firefighters are still fanned out across Orange County, putting out hot spots. They say it's still unsafe for some to be allowed back in. Uh, it's better than I thought it would be. I'm surprised there's not more homes that were lost. A chunk of wood smolders in the driveway of a house on Winds Drive in Orange more than two days after the Canyon 2 fire ignited. In the distance through the trees was a family home that crumbled in the flames. The chimney is about the only thing recognizable. Other than the one neighbor here that lost her house, uh, the firemen were able to save, you know, countless houses that are all surrounded by dry brush and trees. So it's pretty impressive what they were able to do. It blanketed the house, yes. This pinkish red fire retardant dropped by a DC 10 Monday is credited with saving dozens, if not hundreds, of homes. This is Cowan Heights in unincorporated Orange County. When flames jump Jamboree Road and into Peters Canyon Regional Park, the DC 10 was into its fifth hour of painting wildlands and neighborhoods with the chemical FOS check. From the ground, this is what the aftermath looks like. I am all for it. Yeah, I don't know what the cost would be. I don't know what the price point is for a dump like that, but it's amazing to us and the neighbors. 35 years ago to the day, the gypsum fire burned the purple fire footprint, okay? The current Canyon 2 fire started in almost exactly the same area and it burned a smaller footprint. Significantly more homes lost then, smaller this time because the 241 toll road acted as a break and the efforts from the air in wild winds were so substantial. A big part of that is the DC 10, 12,000 gallons of fire retardant dumped in one fell swoop. What this plane drops is the equivalent of 24 helicopter drops. Many homes were saved this way, fire officials say. I think the tanker had a tremendous impact on the Cowan Heights structure protection. That area is an Oakland Hills type of fire environment for us, incredibly challenging, tightly packed homes uh, between the boots on the ground and those timely tanker drops. I think it had an incredible impact. I want to show you what the FOS check looks like when it's dry. It's like flimsy paper. You can see I can crush it in my hands. When it comes out of that DC 10, though, it is like slime. Now, firefighters have gone back to the houses where that FOS check was dropped and they've hosed off as much as they could. But you could see, at least from that one home, there's a lot left. And now it's up to the homeowner to take care of the rest of it. That's the latest live here in Orange. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you.